All right, spent a couple minutes to finish this up. Got a little bit of popcorn stuck in my teeth, so I'll be picking that out. Um, I did want to say a really cool tip. If you want to select a color that's on the body itself, you can push S and it'll sample. And then you can just apply it. Um, it doesn't even have to be selected. You just sample whatever you want and then apply it to the object that you're painting. So it'll help you blend things a little bit better. I know it's hard because um, there's no texture itself on here. It's a little weird, but hopefully you can get closer to what you want. Anyway, so we have the painting done. We have the texture map done. Um, you will want to save this map. And it's not open. We'll go over to image plus and save as and then name it whatever the hell you want to name it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit easier on me and add the underscore A uh, so that I know that it's a albedo. Cool. But now we need it to be a DDS file. So let's go ahead, open this up and save it. And we're going to drop down the menu to a dot DDS. Um, after we put it in the appropriate folder, there it is. And then we should be able to save it. And this is a VC1 DX10. Make sure it's sRGB. Cool, everything looks good. And let's click OK. Everything, let me make sure that's there. OK, cool. Everything's there. Save it. And we can go ahead and drop make sure that's actually in there because we did save it directly. All right, so now we need this to be in the TPF file up here, or the XML file, I mean. So I will copy a um, different albedo. So this one has to say underscore A. So it'll be pretty much the exact same thing. I'm going to paste that exact thing down and then erase the name and put uh, eyeball fix or whatever the hell I named it. I think that's right. All right, everything else should be good. Um, we will need to do the L version. So we have the H and the L version. Um, and we actually should put an N version. So let's go ahead and save this for now. So I went to normalmap.online. I'm gonna drop the, the uh, PNG file because it does not accept DDS. And we're just gonna make a normal map real quick. You know, the purple and green. And let's go ahead and check out the eyeball part. And we'll just, I don't know, make it smoother. I'm not entirely sure what the fuck I'm doing. But that's that's how it be. Anyway, I, I have a video on this. I'm just going to go ahead and skip the rest of this. Since we saved it as a PNG, we're going to go ahead and save it as a DDS. Do the same step, except that this is a normal... So we need to put it in a different scaling. So we're going to go to save. And then we're going to make this, uh, I think it's a BC7. Um, and then we're going to do linear DX11. And then save it. And it should be a DDS. And we're going to make sure that's in the H folder. The H texture folder. All right, there it is. Cool. So we got both of them. Now I need to put the N inside of the um, XML file as well. So let's go ahead. Same as a few seconds ago, I'm just gonna copy one of the N's um, for normal, and then I'm gonna paste it, and then I'm gonna change the uh, name to eyeball fix. All right. And make sure that your image actually does have the underscore N, just so you can um, be able to quickly tell that it is a normal map if you don't have the ability to see the image itself especially. At this point it is safe to go ahead and pack the TPF file. Um, I got a whole bunch of other junk in here just just to be able to quickly copy and paste things into the L file. It won't hurt anything because it's not addressed at all. So now we're in the L file. Oh, can't open that directly. I gotta drop it into the Yabber. 
Now I should have those other two images saved, so I'm going to copy, or I'm going to go ahead and just paste them, already copied them. And then I'm going to take a um, albedo and a normal, copy them, and I'll paste them down here. If you don't have the need for metal on the map, it's totally fine. You do not have to put a metal one in. Um, technically, you don't have to put any of them in, but the albedo gives it color, so I would at least advise putting that one in. Change these to the eyeball fix. And don't forget the underscore L because this is a low texture. All right, got both of them in there. Let's make sure to change these ones to underscore L as well. So small. All right, so now it should be referenced and we can go ahead and uh, pack that TPF file. And then we can pack the L file and the H file and those guys are done. Well, my editor crashed, so I have to restart editing this video. What a lovely thing. So before we mess with anything, um, let's go ahead and save all this. So we don't need the body anymore. We're gonna let Filver autofill all the textures. So let's delete the body, let's delete the hair, um, pretty much everything. I'm going to leave the bones. Uh, it just makes me feel more comfortable, but I don't want leaf bones to be a part of it. For some reason, when you save it, it adds extra bones and I just don't understand that. So I'm going to scroll down to armature and remove add leaf bones. Cool. Everything here is good. <sighs> I'm just going to minimize this. We don't need to exit out. Now we're ready to open up the Filver editor, specifically this Filver file. All right, everything looks good. We're going to toggle the back rendering. So click mesh and then um, we're going to push TVF all back face rendering and then click modify and it'll just automatically show you what it looks like. I'm not sure if the hair is correct or not. Um, if it's an issue in game, I can just retoggle uh, the rendering or reset the mesh or something like that. It's not really important to me right now. We're going to import the model. I don't know why I old opened some random ass folder that I don't need. All right, this is the eyeball. Head on. If, as long as you have, um, we're gonna click no to everything. As long as you have applied translation in Blender, it should just sit in the exact spot that you told it to. Now we're gonna fix all this fucking mess. So we don't want all these file slots. We don't need these many paths. We only have two texture slots. Um, so let us find our template over file. You can find it um, on the Discord servers like Scrub Milk's Discord server. I'm going to just paste it in here so I have a safe copy to touch. I don't want to re-download it just if I mess it up. It's a template. It's, it's kind of important, you know? All right, make sure I have the Yabber stuff. All right, open this up. I don't really need that window. I'm going to just throw it over there. All right, let's go to material. And we're going to steal all the information, not on this page. We're going to click edit. Oops. Click edit next to the material, the dummy material. And we're going to steal this page and use it. So we don't need the underscore E, but we do need pretty much all the other information on here. Um, so we're gonna copy all, we're gonna copy everything after, and we could just copy everything after texture. Copy all that. We're gonna go over to our, our actual file and everything after texture on here needs to be deleted. Um, try to scroll all the way down first because it does not like to. In this case, I actually have to extend the window because it won't show me everything yeah all right extend that all right delete everything after the word texture push enter and then paste 
everything we just copied. Now we got a few things we have to change. Let's scroll up. Everything in this path, we want to change that to the dummy path. So C bracket A M S N bracket dot MTD. Remember, we're not doing the underscore E. Um, I think that's like emissive or something like that. And the reason we're doing that is because that is the path to a custom material. Okay. So the path is wrong on here, and we can technically change everything in that JSON area, but I like to be extra sure, and I copy that, and I just paste it into in between the quotations. Like I said, we didn't need to type the path at the very top, but there was no harm in doing it. Just make sure you, you know that I don't know. It makes it easier to look at things. Oops, sorry. I'm going to copy this just in case I make a mistake when I click modify, which I don't. But JSON mod, and it should save all that information. We're going to click edit again. And boom, it saved it. So we can go ahead and put our material in. So one thing to note is those... Um, it looks like a bunch of shit, like the S&P, just the whole address looks wrong, but those are what we need in there. So we're going to click OK. Uh, let's see, everything on here is still going to look messed up. And you're going to you're going to feel like you have to push modify JSON. But if you do that, remind you, don't do it. If you do click modify.json, it'll mess up everything in this window. And you'll have to repaste and type and all kinds of bullshit. And we don't want to do that. We will click modify. Um, I don't think it'll do anything. But I will click it. And I will not this. Not modify JSON. We will click modify. Then I'm exit. I'm going to click modify. And then I'm going to re-enter. Because it... It updates the screen, and if we scroll all the way down, it will see that it is much smaller. In fact, it is identical. And then if we click Material, we can actually, oops, whatever. If we click Material, we can actually see uh, that it's still there. We don't want them to change any of the body stuff. We, we let Filver autofill that information from the game itself. Um, so yeah, see, everything's still there. And I like to click modify here, um, but all it does is make sure you modify it. It just saves the bone data. It's not necessary, but I do it because, um, you know, double tap. We're going to pack the character file now. Everything should be updated, and we will drop all this information into our mod folder, specifically CHR because this is an NPC, and that's where that information is stored. Replace H for the higher texture stuff, and low for like far away, I'm not sure. Cool, and let's go ahead and run the game. So all the texture looks good, and the yeah, eyeballs do have the texture. Um, the color looks like shit, of course, but um, I can change that later if I need to. But as you can see, it works. The normal map works. Everything works. And uh, that's pretty much how you solve the issue. And I hope it helps somebody because I spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to solve this problem.